What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska, where we play Viking warrior that has been shipwrecked on this strange new land who must build a new village and a, and a new fierce Viking tribe in order to survive and thrive. In this episode, we're going to be exploring a few new things. As always, as you can see here, it is night. We have the cooking pit going. I've actually assigned a worker down there to the cooking pit. And other than that, not much has changed. We did expand the warehouse one one more length there. Uh, we still have all the same houses and buildings. Other than the new workshop, let's come down here and take a look at it really quick. We'll bring up our UI as well. You can see here it's almost midnight. So we, we got the carpenter shop being built. We had to build a new... Uh, workshop all together. This is the original workshop. Put in a water well right here. The other water well that was up the hill over here by the cooking pit that would actually start running really low on water. In fact, let's take a drink. There we go. I also built the cooking house. I haven't done anything with it yet. It was just completed. I'm actually going to ex oops, I'm actually going to extinguish this because we don't need to run out of wood. Looks like there's some sticks there. We need to get some more Uten blood. I also made a path going along this way. It curves down and goes around here, down to this lower one, back up here, like so. Maybe we can do a little more of that too. This path goes all the way up here and stops right here at the water well. So, again, what are we going to do in this video? Well, we need some hardwood. Apparently that's what we're missing from this build. The wood that you see down there, the required supplies, um... It's hardwood, and in order to get... Who are you? Oh, he's my... He's one of my warriors. He's on patrol. In order to get hardwood, we need to build an axe. We need to build this guy right here, a crude iron axe. In order to make this crude iron axe, we need sticks, and we need a small iron axe head. In order to get the iron axe head, we come over here to the blacksmith side, go to the anvil, and here it is right here. Uh, we are missing the components, and the components is hot iron bloom. So... We come over here to the bloomery, where we should be able to make iron bloom. And apparently we put coal into here, which we have. We I've just burned a bunch more, and there it is right there. And we have to get some iron ore. And I'm not sure where to get it exactly. So I believe it's at that cave, but we need to get that pickaxe. So let's head to that cave. Before we do that, though, I really need some food. Oh, I'm also going to build a water well right here. I need to get some food here, because um, I am apparently pretty hungry. Let's see what we've got in the vegetables. Nothing. Uh-oh. we got some mushrooms we'd have to cook up. I'm not too hip on doing that at the moment. We're going to have to start planting planting some stuff here, I think. I think we got to build a farm, too. Let's take these feathers out. Take fibers as well. We'll leave that space for seeds. As a matter of fact, we're going to take the seeds as well. There we go. And we're going to put them over here in the... Oh, what happened here? Okay. Things are just on the ground. I built another seed storage right here in the extension. So we'll place all the seeds in there that we just took. We will make some rope. Let's place a bunch of this rope in there. Perfect. We'll pick up this raw meat. Is there something else here too? Yeah, the bone fragments. Something was probably killed right there. We'll come down here. Well, let's cook. We'll cook this meat up because we're going to need some food here real soon. Go. While that's cooking, we'll run down here and deposit these feathers and other things we have. I don't want to do that. I want to go like that. Perfect. Okay. We'll extinguish that, and we will eat some of our food. There we go. We're going to be a little stingy and keep the rest with us. I'm going to place a little bit of firewood on that fire. There we go. Just get it out of my inventory. And let's head to that cave. All right, so here we are at the entrance of the cave. I think I have everything I need to build a torch. Yes, we'll craft a torch. There we go. Now we might be able to see a little better inside of here. Everything, of course, now looks red. Here we come up to this cave wall. It says, missing equipment pickaxes. Find and hit the weak spot spots with a pickaxe. Well, I have a pickaxe. I have a couple pickaxes, actually. We'll equip the pickaxe. This is my two-handed pickaxe, and we're just... Let's just attack it. Okay, so it, it is opening up. We can't use the R button to harvest it. 
interesting. Hit the weak spots. There we go. I dropped some stuff. Is it iron ore? Oh, right there. Iron ore. Perfect. And it got, looks like we got some large stones as well. All right. Well, let's just keep going with this. This is great. Getting some good numbers here. Oh, yeah. Looking for the weak spots. Maybe up here. There we go. Yeah. Boom. All right. That's some large stones too. This is great. And it just keeps going. Might have to bring that sled here. There's a weak spot, I think. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Oh, it's all rolling down the hill here. And we are, inventory is full. Where is my torch? We'll pull that up. Oh, boy. Um. Okay. So there's more. Looks like more walls. Awesome. But now I'm, I'm going to go get that, that sled. I do find it kind of strange. I just arrived, arrived back in camp from the from the cave, and only a couple of these torches are running. And I don't know why. I don't know why my worker is only lighting a couple and not, like, all of them. So, yeah, I really don't know. But, and I think I might make some more torches for my night guards. But that'll be uh, for a different time. I'm not going to stress that right now. Let's just dump off these iron ores. All right, we dumped off the iron ore at the bloomery. Let's see what else I have in my inventory. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we've got to find a place for more of this iron ore here. Let's just dump it all right here. I got a feeling we're going to go through a lot of iron ore. Now I have to find... What did I do with the cart, the sled? I've been using the sled quite a bit to get uh, thatch. Thatch is... Are you stuck? Here, you know what? I'm going to give you my torch. There it is. And I'm going to give you my water too, because it looks like you're out of water. Fill that up really quick. I was kind of hoping he would light up that torch and carry it around when he's walking, but that's alright. Take a drink while we're here. Fill up our canteen. We got seeds hanging out on the outside here. Feathers. Did a smoker come in here and like start wreaking havoc on our stuff? I'm going to... We have our guard right up there. Uh, no fuel. Maybe that's why. But we have resin right over here, like a whole big old thing of resin. So, I don't know what why they're not all lit up, but that's all right. I'm not going to stress it. So I did, he dropped some resin right there. I did finish all the beds in here. See, we got six people sleeping. That's all the beds we have assigned right now. Here's my cart. It should be empty. So let's verify that. Yep, it's empty. We're going to, I, I keep calling it a cart. It's a sled. Let's see if we can get out this way with it. Definitely move slower with it and have a harder time on steep terrain, but it carries a lot more than just we can. So, we'll take off running through the forest with it. Head to the cave. And right, here we are. I think we can just pull this thing right inside of here. Oh, we don't have a torch. That's right. We have our, our vision here. Okay, I'm going to drop the sled right there. We'll pick up this iron ore. I'm just going to pick up all the iron ore that I can. What happens if I build a little torch inside of here? Can I do that? Uh, like a lantern? One of these things. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I can't place it. Bummer. Okay. I don't have resin. That's all right. I think it was... Here we go. Oh, I need to equip the right tool here and attack it. Hearing animals. Did I just hear someone get attacked? It's so dark. It's the middle of the night. The only people that should be out are my guards, and they have a set route that does not come this way. So, oh, check this out. Can I assign workers here? Oh, that is cool. We'll just deposit those right there, then. We'll keep keep working in here. Oh, let's find some resin. I would really like to have a a, a torch inside of here. A oh, bummer. We're going to have to cut down a tree. That's all right. We're, we, won't, we won't waste time doing that. Let's just get back inside here and get as much of this out right now as we can. It just keeps going. Taking down several of these walls now. Well, not several. Like, I, I've lost count, but probably about 10, I think, maybe. I'm not complaining. I mean... It's semi-close to camp, and so far there's no monsters in here. All right, our inventory is full. Let's go to our cart. It's up here somewhere. Here it is. Transfer everything to our cart. We can anyway. We'll put some large stones in there too, just for funsies. Maybe not. We got lots of large stone. Hey, inventory is full again. I think we have... Oh, I keep on hearing strange now. Oh, you get out of here. Oh, I knew it. They will scatter. They they eat everything, those smokers. They, they eat everything. Yeah, all right, we'll pick up one on the outside here. Hopefully they stay out of here. I doubt they will. It's right there. But we'll just grab one from out, of, out here. I can see a little better. You know what? I'm going to hunt and kill these things right now. Fortunately, I don't have a good weapon.
Push wrong button. Oh no. Just lost a settler to due to starvation. I have a worker making food. Hey, well, I better get back to camp. Missed him. I got. I gotta get back to camp here. I can either make food or something here, because if he can't be the only one, then I really don't want to start losing people. We got plenty of food here. There's no reason why anybody should be starving. We got lots of meat. I'm gonna drop this right here for now. I'm gonna go drop off all this iron ore so I have space in my inventory. Just like that. Then I'm going to get this rolling. Oh, we're going to put some meat on here. So if somebody's starving right now, they can come get meat right now. All right. Hopefully everybody has something to eat now. One villager is unhappy. My builder, why is he unhappy? I'm getting a little thirsty. Then get some something to drink. His hunger is good. Uh, it's nap time. I'm getting a little thirsty. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Well, come get something to eat. Come get something to drink. What's your schedule? You're a day worker. You should be on your break pretty soon, if not already. So all the food is gone. Let me see what we got in here. Hook up some mushrooms. I don't think we have any food in here to cook with. I've never used this before. I have no idea how to use it. Uh, we can add some fuel to it. Use crock pot. Okay, so we have to add water. I guess we put stuff in the basket and storage. Or we'd probably just like add things like that. There we go. Put a bunch of water, a little bit of water. Let's do let's do half amount of water and cook. It's doing something. It makes complex recipes. Interesting. I just put some mushrooms in some water and cooking it. I wonder if it's gonna make, make like a mushroom soup or something. It's probably what it's gonna do. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, take mushroom stew. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, oh, food extinguishes. Let's add it to the food. I cannot. What what happened to it? Oh, I I have it. I want to give it to people. But I want them to come take it. Is there a, like a cooked food? Meat storage, veggie storage. Cooked food, perfect. R. There we go. Now they can come get it and eat it. Alright, so gatherers. I need another gatherer. Who is my cook? Because you're no longer cooking. You're just going to be gathering. Let's go into here. Station. This person. Starting to get hungry. Yeah, you are. Oh. I need to put some leisure time for you in the middle of the day. There you go. And then I'm going to dismiss you from your job. Dismiss. Perfect. And yes. And I'm going to assign you a gathering job. We'll come up here and yeah, assign. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I already have two people. Yeah. I already have two people gathering. So where can I put you then? You don't have any proficiencies, but we need to get a lot of food. They're all sitting on each other's laps and stuff. We need to get a lot of a lot of food together. Um, I'm gonna go gathering myself, I think. Well, let's actually let's build a farm. I was kind of I want I was wanting to put this off, but I think we really need it like right now. And I'm thinking the best spot for it. This is looking pretty flat right here. Just gotta clear out some of these stumps, and we'll build a farm right here. Oh, I need my big one. There we go. So hopefully this won't take too long. We'll get the farm built. Start getting some crops coming in. Hopefully. It's probably getting close to fall. I know from my last playthrough that the farm plots are not that big. I think it's like 16 squares, but you can have them however you want with a little farm shack. So it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. We're not going to go overboard here. And we're going to put the farmhouse like right here. Well, we're going to give that some space just in case there's room for expansion. We're going to put it like right here. Let's see. Fisherman's hut. Farm. Go like this. Have all the storages facing the gatherer's hut and the kitchen. Clear the space out. Start supplying it. Need a lot more rope, sticks, stones, logs. Pretty much everything. Unfortunately, the guy that died, I don't remember what he was. his job was. So we might have an empty... He wasn't my hunter, was he? There would be a, an exclamation point over the hunting shack. I don't think he was my hunter. I guess I need to figure out who my people really are. Logs, sticks... Long sticks and logs now. Okay, you're not a very good builder. Are you stuck? Give me that. Thank you. Go do what you're doing. I think she's trying to help me, but she's getting stuck on something. Probably on the terrain there or something. I don't know. I don't want her to, like, get killed or something because she's stuck. 
I don't like losing my villagers. They're hard to get. Hard to train. Equip. Alright. Now we can come into this menu. And we can build a farm crop. We'll get a little arrow icon thing here. We'll move it around. Kind of see where the fields are going to be. I think we'll go like that. Four out. Four this way. Confirm that. And then we supply it. It takes a lot of rope. That's right. I kind of forgot about that. And a lot of sticks. Okay. Needs tilling. We need to view task. Oh, I guess we need to have a worker here first. Which is fine. Uh, we, we'll get one. Let's pick up some of these supplies here. Because I think we need to build a rake. Like a bunch of rakes as well. For the girl I'm going to assign to this task. We do that down here at the workshop. Rake. Sticks. More sticks. I think we can never have enough sticks. Love to build a crude iron rake. But for now we're just going to go with these wooden ones. Build a couple of them there. We'll give them to her as soon as we assign her her job. Oh, See, I think that's where she was getting stuck. We might have to fix that. Hi. So let us... Manage workers. Don't really have a good farmer, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not seeing one really quickly. He's already at the gatherer's hut. You know what? I'm going to... Yeah, confirm. And then Ari will be my gatherer. Fine. There we go. So now, that person should come to me pretty soon and say, Hey, I need rakes. And we have to tell the task what we're going to plant. Task, cabbage. We'll do some cabbage. And let's do some carrot, like that. Repeat the task. Save. All right. Now they should go to the seed storage automatically and get these things. Ugh, so much to do. But I need them to come to me and say, hey, I need a rake. Because me doing this will take forever. And see down there, the little circle tilling, filling up. Yeah, I got other things to do. So let's see. What are you doing? You're my hunter. Then what are you doing? I need knives to work. Okay. Yeah, because we need meat, bud. I don't have any stones. Oy vey. Oh, we probably need rope as well. Ovar, you're my farmer, aren't you? Yeah, need rakes for farming. Perfect. There you go. I don't need these things. You do. I think that was all of them. I thought I made three of them. Okay. Maybe not. All right. Let's come up here and get some more stones. Make some knives really quick. Go. Hunter. Hunter, where did you go? Oh, here you are here. I would need one of those. There we go. Oh, I had one right there. Perfect. Okay, goodbye. And Floki, what do you need? You don't need anything. Okay. Uh, you're a pet. Uh, you got a small happiness decrease. Why are you upset, man? Do you need more time? How about I give you some more leisure time in the morning? There we go. Okay. So everything should be good now, I hope. Nobody's coming to me. Nobody is just standing around other than Floki, only because he doesn't know what to build. Did you build this water well up here, Floki? No, you haven't yet. Why not? All you need is sticks. Go get some sticks. You can drink a water. Okay, so let us try and figure out this bloomery here. Whoa. There's a tree right here. They cut down a tree and just leave it? They did. I've seen this a few times now. Making a big mess. They probably ran out of axes. Sticks and rope. Okay. The rope first. I need a new pickaxe here real soon. Okay. I'm just at, I'm at the tool rack right now putting up tools for people. Put the arrows there, put the arrows there so they can come get arrows when they need. We have our hammer. There we go. Try to keep things a little bit organized. We're going to need that large stone pickaxe. We harvest much more. All right. So we got a bunch of rope too. Let's put that rope away. Hi. What do you need? I need better axes to harvest logs, log from fur. Yeah. I just made them. Take them. Thank you. Good job. Let's go up here. Small materials. We'll put some of this rope away. We don't need to have that much with us. Okay. Finally. Come over here. Now, I'm not sure what we have to do here. We got a bunch of iron ore. We got a bunch of coal. We got more coal over here. Uh, inspect furnace. Place iron, place iron ore and coal to get iron bloom in a hot bloom block. Check the furnace for the results and place the bloom block in the anvil. Okay, so we burn it and then we... All right, let's pick up some of this. Yeah. Tea. Let's just add... It's probably going to take a lot more coal than it is iron ore. So I say that from experience. Oop. Um, from like real life experience. It always takes a lot of coal to, to make something. I think if we do something like that, we got a lot... Like it's a... What is that? A 1 to 3 ratio. Okay, we ignite it. I see we have bellows. Use bellows. If it's coming up... Okay, there we go. Then we got to keep it in that zone. 
For how long, though? Oh, blacksmith. Nice. Oh, well, we got some stuff, I guess. The bloom. We're doing something right, I think. Again, I don't know if this is correct or not. I'm getting stuff. I I could be really shortchanging myself here by not doing like a equal amounts of coal and iron ore. I feel like I'm having to give it a lot more air. Oh no. Oh. Okay. So I didn't get enough out of that. Let's see. Blooms are consolidated here. Can't use iron on anvil. But I have... Do I have to get it out of here? Oh, yes. There we go. Hit with hammers. Oh, we're like... Nice! I love this. This is great. Rotate it again. Boy, this takes a lot of work, though. We have to assign someone to this. So I love this feature of this game. Uh, it is pretty accurate. Like, when you make iron, you have to fold it several times and hammer it and heat it and hammer it and get all the impurities out of it. And that's what it's being demonstrated here, which is great. All right. Okay, so now we have iron bloom. Let's come up here to our anvil here. We're going to craft this axe head. Missing components. I have this. Hot iron bloom. What do I have? I have iron bloom. I have to heat it up again. Forge. Oh. Let's add the fuel. Okay. I'll inspect it. Go. Oh, got it. Cook it. Okay, perfect. So it's one of the, my hobbies that I did a long time ago. One reason I know quite a bit about blacksmithing is because I am actually a blacksmith. Among other hobbies that I have, I joined a blacksmithing club, and we put on demonstrations at the local fair, all sorts of things, and I really enjoy blacksmithing. Hot iron bloom. Okay, I can't take it. So I must, yeah, there we go. So I've swung my fair share of am of hammers on anvils and made all sorts of fun things. Uh, I do like making tools. Um, I'm more like a toolsmith, I'd say. Sent to quenching. The iron was sent to quenching. Oh, we need to add water. Okay, well, I just took a drink of it. There we go. Is that enough water? Iron bar. Okay, now we have an iron bar. Now what? I want, oh no. I selected the wrong thing. Oh, we gotta start this process all over again. Uh, we need more bloom to make. Uh, but I think we know how to do it now. It's just gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna cut it here and come back. We'll actually have the right thing. Okay, so doing this a second time, I think I figured it out. It is uh, a fuel. You have to keep enough fuel in there to keep it long enough to get all that um, stuff in there. So if you don't have enough fuel, so like now, it doesn't matter because I got all the, the pieces burned up, you know, melted together. So I can cancel that. Now I got all of them. Uh, it's that, that's kind of like the perfect ratio. You want like uh, five of the uh, iron ore and that gives you enough space for enough fuel because it's like a time-based thing. All right. We'll just continue here. All right, now we have a small axe head. Perfect. Let us come here and we'll make the crude axe craft. Awesome. Now that is in my inventory. Now we can go after some hardwoods. And there's some hardwoods. Like there's a good population of them down here. And there's a good population of them over there. So we'll come over here first and we'll start cutting these things down. Start to get hungry. That's not great. Right. We've got some hardwoods. I'm going to go find some food really quick. Down here by the ocean. I should build a fishing hut down here. But I'm thinking maybe I can find some mussels or something I can snack on. Get my strength back up. See the fish jumping out there. There's some mussels. There's some raw mushrooms. That's all I have to eat. That's all right. That almost filled my, uh, my food meter there. So I'm not complaining about that at all. Hopefully Floki comes down here and starts gathering up these uh, logs I just cut down. Probably not. Hardwood log. We'll carry them up there. Get this carpenter shop built. We also need to build a weaver and make some clothing so we don't freeze to death this winter. A lot to manage. A lot to do. Need four of those and four long sticks of hardwood. Should get my sled down here. We're going to do that. We're going to go get the sled. Floki is not doing anything. Standing there. He's getting thirsty and hungry. He's got water. Okay. How thirsty and hungry are you? You're fine. Oh my gosh. Why? Why has he got a small happiness decrease? Hopefully he doesn't leave me. I can't afford to have people leaving me. All right. Here's our cart. We'll offload it. Head back down the hill. Get more 
Hardwood. Now you're getting hungry, buddy. We're all getting hungry. Oh, I need my, my cart, my sled. Go get some hardwood. Get this done. Refocus on food. Those are just normal sticks and stuff. All right, cool. Uh-oh. Apparently that cart is now full. Put one big log on it. Two small, or two long sticks of hardwood. And that filled it up. Well, that's not great. Anyway, yeah, I need one more long stick and two more long... Or one more long stick and two logs. I'll probably forget that by the time I get down here. Should do it. Build it up really quick here. Just like that. Boom. Done. Sweet. Now we have the carpenter shop. <laughs> Yay. I forgot what I was going to do with it. <laughs> let's let's check on everybody here really quick. It's getting pretty late in the day. Um, do we have food yet? Hi. What do you need? I wish we had some compost. The crops would appreciate it. Uh, we need more defenses. I'm wondering if that's what that guy did. Let's check that out really quick. Yeah, we, we we're missing some people, or one person here anyway. Workstation, we had, let's see here, one person on the barracks, one person on the archery range, another, so he was in the barracks. Yeah, and that's why. So we definitely need to get more people. Um, I know that we need compost and we have to build for that, but do we have anything in here yet? No. I just ran out of water. That's why I was trying to build this. We need stones and sticks. We like starving to death here because people are not feeding themselves. Gatherers are not gathering. We got something in there. Oh, let's put something else in there too. Uh, no, it was taken. Yeah, it was taken. Okay. Um, I got some more mushroom soup here I can make, I think. Add... Last time I think I did two. Let's do four this time. And we'll cut. also get this fire going here. Oh, I've discovered mushroom soup. Yay. Uh, extinguish that. No, we don't. We don't want to extinguish that. We want to take it. Use it again. Oh, we need more water. Oh, shoot. Got another water well over here. Come on. He's going to cook some meat at the same time here. Actually going to eat that. There we go. Is that cooking? The lid didn't go on it. It doesn't show it cooking. Oh, I have to push the cook button. There we go. All right. I was going to cook some meat. We got a bunch of meat hanging over here. Actually, I wonder if we can, like, make... Like a stew or something in the crock pot. That'd be kind of cool. We'll extinguish that. Yeah, so if we add that and... Oh, oh no. Okay, we need more water. Just trying to keep everybody alive. I said cook, right? There we go. I need another food foraging marker. Okay, now they won't go do anything until that is done. I said that and then now they're leaving. So I need this other water well going too here. I don't want to run away from this crock pot because it's it finishes pretty quick, I think. This one might be taking a little longer than normal. There we go. Okay, I'll extinguish this for now. Meat soup. There you go. There's a bunch of food for everybody. I'll cook some more up here in a minute. Let's get this other water well going. Sticks. Any sticks there? Yeah, I know. I'll go get you your... Yeah, I know. I'll go get your marker. Just give me a minute so I can do other more important things right now. What are we forgetting? Oh, more sticks. All right. Now we got some water. Oh, what's this? Okay, we got fibers. Fibers and feathers don't go in there. There we go. Nothing in there. Hi, right, what do you need? Yeah. If you're starting to get hungry, there's food right over there. You have to be yeah, on leisure time to go get it. I understand that, but um, you'll be on leisure time here real soon. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I've been... Recording now for a little over an hour and a half. So we got quite a bit done. We got a bunch of iron ore. We actually made an iron tool, uh, an axe, so I can harvest that hardwood. We did lose a villager, and he was a guard, unfortunately, which has now plummeted everybody into a state of unhappiness, which is not so great. So, and my gatherers will not go gather anything until I put up more markers that they are over there. So that's going to be first. I'm going to have to go do that. Go put up a bunch of those. We also did complete the carpentry shop. So now we just get to make more tools and, and that sort of thing. We also built a farm. And the farm is hopefully growing crops that we can use in our new kitchen to make soups and stews and, and that sort of thing. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you've made it this far, you have obviously enjoyed it. Please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and hit that bell notification so you never miss an episode. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.